Unicorn Makeup Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video it's going to be part two of this fabulous unicorn, very glittery makeup tutorial. This makeup, it's a little more extreme than makeup I'd say, it's like a, like a Halloween, Halloween style makeup. So in part one I showed you how to make the horn and how to attach the horn. Today it's going to be how to blend out the horn with some more glitter because you can never have enough glitter and how to do the rest of the makeup, which is very colorful and shimmery and I don't know, very unicorny. So I hope you guys like this and I'm also going to be showing you a new eyeliner, a felt tip eyeliner pen that I just got that's waterproof and is pretty easy to use. It's very flexible and very thin, which you'll see I actually wrote I love unicorns on my hand and it was so nice because it almost you could do a calligraphy style with it just because it's so flexible and smooth. But I'll be showing you that and there'll be a link to that in the description box below. So if you're looking for a new eyeliner pen, definitely check that out. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So here's the eyeliner pen. It's a pretty, pretty simple little thing. Comes in a little box. And it's very thin, which means that it fits, I don't know, I've got relatively small hands, so I really like thin pens and really thin, easy to hold things. So really quickly, I'm just gonna write, I love unicorns on my hand. I started writing and then it dawned on me that I didn't know what I wanted to write. And since I knew I was, I mean, this was unicorns, I thought, well, I was right, I love unicorns on my hand. And then later somebody looked at me like, why on earth do you have I love unicorns written on your hand? And my response was pretty simply because I can, you know, why not have I love unicorns written on your hand? You know, what, what can it hurt? So anyways, I just decided I would write that out because, well, because I can. So there you have it. I love unicorns written out with that eyeliner pen. And as you can see, it did, I mean, that was pretty easy. Not, I had no plan for this. So this was my spontaneous, I love unicorns handwriting. I was pretty happy with it. I kind of surprised myself with that one. Usually I really plan out my fancier handwriting in like for a couple minutes, think about how I'm going to do each letter. That one, I just kind of winged it. So to start out the makeup, I'm going to begin with just applying some moisturizer to my face. The foundation I have does not require the use of a primer. It just says to use your moisturizer. So that's what I do. So I'm just going to be doing that. If you want to see more about that foundation, which is like the best foundation I've ever found in my life, I will put a link to that review in the description box below from about a year ago. It really is amazing. It's fantastic. Um, I can't say enough about it. It's my favorite but then after that foundation is put on it's just a powder foundation then I'm gonna be taking some gold eyeshadow and I'm going to be just doing that right around the edge of the horn now it's really hard to tell in the video because it doesn't really show up all of that much really but this does help blend out the horn to make it a little less obvious about that difference between horn to skin and then I'm going to be taking some pink eyeshadow and I'm going to be going over my cheekbones and then down the bridge of my nose it's a very light shimmery pink and then taking some purple I'm going to be adding some purple to my cheekbones just kind of increasing this I'm doing a subtle gradient purple pink then aqua because I want it to be mostly pink so just a little bit of purple and a little bit of aqua so there's the aqua on there and these are all very pastel colors that on me don't show up very much which is what I was going for I want it to be a subtle little rainbow highlight on my skin so just like I said, it's a very, very little bit. And then I'm going to be taking some duochrome powder and just running over my cheekbones to blend those colors together. And then over my nose and over my chin and over my upper lip a little bit. Just to kind of, like I said, you want this to be a very glowy unicorn. And then I'm going to be, I just um, added some eyeshadow primer to my lids. And then I'm going to be doing my water lines with a very aqua, like a darker shade of aqua eyeliner and then for my lids I'm going to start with a pastel pink over the lid itself and then add some lavender and some aqua so this is goes the same the same um, gradient actually on the lid so it's pink in the middle with the purple actually no it wasn't it was pink in the corner then purple in the middle then aqua and then with brighter shades of those colors so no longer pastel I'm going to be doing my crease so aqua or teal in the outer corner purple in the middle and then finishing off with pink and then I'm going to kind of continue that pink up into the bridge of my nose and then down my nose just very slightly to do a very little bit of contouring there add some more of that duochrome to highlight my brow bone that's the duochrome that I'm using is from NYX it is absolutely stunning it is gorgeous and I use it all the time for all sorts of things but it was very appropriate for this I'm going to continue the teal color down underneath my eye just a little bit intensify my crease colors just a bit I wanted it to be really bright but kind of dark at the same time and then with the same teal I'm going to be doing I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows so I use that teal for a lot of this stuff I was knew I was going to be wearing that aqua dress so I wanted to 
bring out the teal a little bit more, a little bit more of that teal color, especially around my eyes. So then I'm going to be using that eyeliner pen and I'm going to be doing my cat eye. Now, if you guys are familiar with any of my makeup videos, there aren't too many of them, but I do enjoy doing some crazy makeup stuff and I like to make videos of it. And there will be more for Halloween, I promise you that. I was just kind of brainstorming last night, just throwing ideas around of things and kind of freaking out people with what I thought I was going to do to my face. But um, there will be more of them, so you will see more. But I usually use uh, body paint for eyeliner. I've used that for, well, probably four years now I've used body paint instead of eyeliner. So it's, yeah, it was different to use actual eyeliner again. It was very strange. I used to for a long time, and then I got into using body paint. I just thought it was more convenient. So I don't know. I'm going to definitely bring this for traveling, though. That's kind of my plan is to have this be my travel eyeliner. So then I uh, curled my lashes, applied mascara, and then I uh, put on a pair of false lashes. Then for my lips, I'm going to be doing a pink gradient. So I'm going to go just with pink in the center and then do purple in the corners of my lips. These are the new Bite lipsticks, the neon the neon collection that they had that was online only a little bit. I have a lipstick obsession and so, but those are from Bite. They're amazing. And this gradient lasted all day. Like it didn't come off. I ate lunch and everything and it lasted until I took it off and when I took a shower that night. It was remarkable. It was fantastic. I didn't bleed or anything. I love, I don't know, I think Bite is probably my favorite lipstick brand. But anyways, I hope you guys like this. Like I said in the last video, if you are interested in a unicorn horn, let me know and we can definitely work that out. Otherwise, I might be putting a few of them on my online store. So check those out. There'll be a link in the description box below and share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram because I would love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.